Hey kids, welcome to Lesson 13, Introduction to Arrays, number three. Accessing items in array. An array is comprised of many locations. You can individually set or reference the information in each location of your array, just like a variable. To tell your locations apart, each has a separate number or index that identifies it. What's an index, you ask? Indexing is a term you're going to hear quite a bit in the next couple of lessons. Really think of it like a book. This would be in back your book. Common way to think about it, think of those binders some of your teachers have, or those super organized students who put everything in a nice organized book. This is just indexing, and it's just putting it in a location we can access it later. Arrays in JavaScript are zero indexed, which means the first index is zero. This is similar to a binary number system, which begins counting at zero. For an example, an array of 10 items would have an index zero through nine. As a result, the last index is always one less than the length of the array. That is a pretty big piece of information right there. Accessing array items by index, if you know the index of the item you wish to access, you can reference it using square brackets. The example below prints the value of the fourth element in the array. And the example right here, we have console.log, my array, which I assume is what they named it, and then the fourth element because it is 0, 1, 2, 3. So that would be the fourth element. We have a do this. Starter code has been provided, which creates an array of the numbers 1 through 10. Use console.log to display the first item in your array. Use console.log to display the last item in your array. And use console.log to display the number 5 from the array. Hmm, sounds pretty fun. Let's go ahead and look at our code. We have array, which is called my array. It's in camel case with the A capitalized. We have the numbers 1 through 10. And what we have to do is display the first, the last, and then the number 5. Well, that shouldn't be too hard right there. Let's delete our comments right there. Let's put our own comments. What we have to do is the first item, and then the last item, and then number five. So that is what we have to do. I know I'm going to need a console.log statement, so I can put that up there. What do I have to access? Well, I have to access my array. Inside the parentheses, I'm going to put my array. What in my array am I looking for? Well, up here you saw if we use brackets, we can access whatever position we're in. Let's try putting some brackets here. And this is my blank part right here. This isn't doing anything right now. What I have to do is I have to ask it for a number. The first number is one. Remember though, that we index zero through nine. So to call the first number, we actually have to call position zero. Let's go to the last item here. Same thing, a console.log statement. We're gonna go my array, because that's what we wanna call. Brackets, brackets are for calling our index. We got the first number, now we want the last number. Well, if it's 10 spots, it goes zero through nine. The last number is going to be nine. Spot nine should access 10. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have a little error up here with that, just a spelling error as usual for me. Now we have to get the number five. Another console.log statement, my array, we want our brackets, don't forget your semicolon at the end. We want the number five to be displayed. That is zero, one, two, three, four. To get the index 
uh, five displayed, that is actually the fourth position. So we're gonna put four. Hopefully, when I hit run down in my debug console, I'm going to get one, 10, and the number five. Let's see if we are right. One, 10, and five. That's absolutely correct. Looking back at our do this, we displayed the first item, we displayed the last item, and we got it to display number five. I think that's all code.org wants from us. Let's see if they want anything else. No. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.